Miss Smith got caught in a rain shower. We'd better be nice to her. The girls are hurrying to class, but their teacher isn't there yet. Christy takes advantage of the situation and starts imitating Miss Smith. Christy Smith is teaching us how to make a wig for a doll using school supplies like Play-Doh. Cut the excess off a tea strainer. Color the edge with acrylic paint. Roll Play-Doh into a ball. Put it onto the head of a bald LOL doll and put the strainer on top. Press the strainer down to squeeze the Play-Doh into strands of hair. Use this method to make a multicolored Play-Doh wig. Squeeze out one color at first, then add a different color of Play-Doh to make a many-colored wig with long hair. Time for a practical test! Jessica needs to make a colorful wig for her little doll herself. Following Christy Smith's instructions, Jessica makes a soft, pretty wig. Great work with the clay, Jessica! What a fun class! Christy Smith is so happy to finally be a teacher that she fell out of her chair and came up with a surprise for the real teacher. She swaps out her regular chair for one made out of thumbtacks. Trace a box of thumbtacks on foam rubber. Cut it out. And glue it to the lid. Cover it with a piece of felt with a print. Cut a strip out of felt and cover the side of the piece. Cut a template for the back of the chair out of cardboard. Trace it on felt and foam paper. Cut out two pieces. Glue them together and glue the back to the box. Make a cushion out of squares of felt and foam rubber. Put it onto the chair. Christy was so busy preparing the surprise that she didn't notice Miss Smith coming in and she's mad. Oh no, this is bad. Miss Smith finds the mini chair. Very funny. She returns her proper throne to its place. Now Miss Smith is in a bad mood. And she has a whole box of thumbtacks. Hurry up! Erase this Barbie nonsense! Let's start actually learning! Miss Smith calls Jessica up to the board. Bad luck! At least Christy can relax and just take notes. But her pencil won't work and her eraser ran out. Christy tries to send an SOS to her friend. Jessica has a secret solution. A doll with eraser shoes. Pick out two identical erasers. Glue them to doll shoes. Trim the eraser to be the size of the sole. While Miss Smith isn't looking, Jessica makes a brave throw. Just turn over her shoes and erase with the sole. Jessica is so busy looking at her invention that she fails her assignment. Sit down! Stop embarrassing me! The girls decide to brag about their new dolls. Christy has an LOL doll with her own surprise case. Cover a round pencil sharpener with glitter nail polish. Attach a foam paper flap so the lid can open. Make openings on the sides of the sharpener using a heated knife and glue in a chain. Attach a printed label from an LOL surprise case. Jessica noticed her friend's new doll right away. But something doesn't look right. These shoes don't match the doll's style. Christy knows what to do. She has extra shoes in her tiny suitcase. How useful! Plus, if you need to sharpen a pencil, it'll come in handy too. What a practical toy! 
Jessica has a useful new accessory, too! It's a stool for Barbie with paint inside! Trace a container of gouache on a piece of felt. Cut it out with some extra. Divide a piece of faux leather into squares. Cut it up. Cover the felt base in a chessboard pattern. Trim the squares on the edges. Cut a circle the size of the container out of foam rubber. Glue the foam rubber to the lid and add fabric on top. Cut side pieces and glue them to the lid. Cover the side with a strip of felt. Jessica seats her doll on some gouache. What a colorful addition to the room! Barbie looks like a masterpiece! Miss Smith gives us a new assignment and tells us to take out our pencils. Jessica tossed her pencils around the whole room, but Christy's pencils are perfectly organized. Her stand is perfect for little toy cats. Glue a tube of pencils to an ink cushion. Cover the tube with acrylic primer and color it with acrylic paint. Cover a marker cap with double-sided tape and wrap twine around it. Secure the end of the twine with hot glue. Make a few pieces of different sizes. Cover half the tube with twine and attach the caps to the tube. Attach a twine cat toy. Draw cat paw prints. Put pencils into the tube. What a practical cat scratcher! It has pencils inside! Christy takes out her kittens and lets them play and sharpen their claws against the tube of pencils. But the fun ends when Miss Smith puts a stop to this cat training. She takes the tube away, but keeps playing with a kitten. Miss Smith is a cat person at heart. Miss Smith is sick and tired of the girls caring more about their toys than learning. She gives them a new assignment. They have to combine school supplies with a doll. Whoever does it better will get an A. Christy got markers, and Jessica got crayons. The girls are so busy with their task that they forgot about recess. What are they working on? Glue marker caps onto a wide ribbon. Wrap the ribbon around the doll like a skirt. Glue on more markers. Drape ribbon around the waist of the skirt. Time's up, and the girls show off their creations. They run up to Miss Smith at the same time. Calm down, young designers. Christy's marker skirt is a wonderful find. Just open the markers, and the skirt turns from a maxi into a mini. It's an excellent new trend in school fashion. Finally, it's Jessica's turn. She shows off her crayon gloves. Remove the labels from crayons. Break them up and melt them in a microwave. Put the melted wax onto the doll's hands and arms. Make long gloves. Even out the layer with a toothpick. Heat the gloves with a blow dryer to smooth them out. Jessica explains how to use these gloves. You can draw with them like crayons. Let's test it out. Perfect! Both girls tried their hardest and get A's. Miss Smith gives the girls a new assignment, but the girls aren't taking it seriously. They're playing with a penny board at their desk. How rude! 
They're competing and jumping all over the place. Don't worry, Miss Smith. This penny board is just a ruler. Trim a wooden ruler. Mark the oval form of a penny board. Smooth the edges with sandpaper. Color the ruler with acrylic paint. Leave the markup unpainted. Draw a Barbie logo and a board design with a pencil. Color it with acrylic paint. Remove the wheels from a broken fingerboard. And glue them onto the ruler. Jessica turns over her Barbie penny board and uses it to sketch in her notebook. This is a new form of sport, linear skateboarding. The girls keep getting distracted by their dolls in class and Miss Smith tells them to stop. What are these strange noises? Someone organized a disco party in class. Suddenly, Miss Smith sees where the noise is coming from. Barbie turned on her boom box. Mark the size of a glue stick tube on thick foam paper. Draw a boombox handle and cut it out. Cover the tube with a piece of gauze. Cover the edges with foam paper. Make a cut along the cap and wheel. Glue in the foam paper handle and glue on a foam paper base underneath. Prime the tube with white paint. Then color it to look like a boombox with acrylic paint. Add speakers and a logo. Paint a logo on a foam sheet. And glue it onto the boombox. Miss Smith checks out the mini boombox. Hmm, there's glue hidden inside of it. What a find. Miss Smith takes the doll and the boombox for herself. Let's continue the dance party on the teacher's desk. Did you like our ideas for dolls in school? Then let us know in the comments about how you'll sneak your favorite toys into class. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new doll ideas from Troom Troom.